Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot for the International Flower and Garden Festival 2023. I plan on taking you around World Showcase, trying all the incredible food and letting you guys know what I think, and then also checking out the beautiful topiaries that they added to this year's festival. So we're gonna eat some food, smell some flowers, and have an amazing Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Of course, we have to start off the day by grabbing our passport so that we know what's new this year. And it looks like the festival's running from March 1st to July 5th. It's gonna be a long one. The wonders of nature are endless. Walt Disney. There are tons of food boots this year, and I'm gonna try to try something from each one of them. Some items are new, and some are some returning favorites. And I love Flower and Garden. In fact, I would have to say it's probably tied with food and wine for my favorite Epcot festival. Since it's 11 a.m., I thought it was appropriate that we start at Brunch Cot. They've got a little bit of everything, and I love that name, Brunch Cot. They've got avocado toast, shrimp and grits. They've got lox benedict, fried cinnamon roll bites, a Fruit Loop shake, and I think we're gonna try everything. The Fruit Loop shake actually changes color weekly, so that's kind of fun. One of the best things about coming to a festival with a bunch of friends is you don't have to eat all the food. You know what I mean? We can order it all together, split it, and also it's less expensive. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna order everything and then we're gonna let you know what our favorite item is. You know what I mean? I'll let you know which item I liked most. <laughs> Here it is, everything that they've got at Brunch Cot. And I like the new name, Brunch Cot. I think last year was Sunshine Siege and Griddles. Sunshine Siege and Griddles. <laughs> Sally, <laughs> Sally Shell She Shells. They got the avocado toast over here with the toy box tomatoes and then the shrimp and grits. They only give you a three, gr three shrimp though. Three shrimp. There I guess. might be some hidden ones. Oh, they might have a hidden shrimp in there? <laughs> then that's the Lox Benedict on everything focaccia. And that one, who's trying that? Yeah. Who's eating that? <laughs> I guess I might try it. You gotta try it. And then they've got the returning cinnamon roll bites with cream cheese frosting and candied bacon and a brew, a brew, a blue fruit, la fruit loop shake. Look at that. A brew. Brew she shells. <laughs> That is good. I do like this. This isn't new this year, but it's always something I do enjoy. It's a little warm. It's not very cold, but I like it. I think I'm going to grab myself a shrimp. Grab some shrimp and grits here. I like the actual size of these shrimps. At least they're not the little baby shrimps. This is a good size. This is a nice, nice size shrimp. You know me, can't turn down a good shrimp. Oh yeah, that is so good. Wow. I love this blackened shrimp. And then also they put brown gravy on there, which honestly I wasn't expecting brown gravy on my shrimp and grits today, but I'm kind of here for it. And now I think I'm gonna maybe dabble in some avocado toast. Look at this one, it's got a pretty little flower on it. Did you have the avocado toast already? I did, have avocado did you like it? It was very toasty. It actually has a little bit of spice. Really? So be careful. Oh lordy, not the Sprite. <laughs> I think it's just like paprika. Oh, uh, okay. Paprika. <laughs> I'm kind of excited for this avocado toast. It looks amazing, but I don't want to eat the flour on top, so I'm going to try to eat around it. Oh, I ended up eating the flour. The avocado toast was actually really good. And now I think we're going to jump right on over to the... Uh, Little cinnamon roll bites with the candied bacon. And I love these actually. These are a returning favorite. Oh boy, we are really starting off strong today. And these are so good. I am so excited for these. Oh yeah. <laughs> there was a hidden shrimp. So that was four shrimp they give you. Ah, uh, I knew it. You knew it. <laughs> you know, I have like very shrimp premonition. You have shrimp Promise intuition. <laughs> yeah, shrimp intuition. <laughs> shrimp intuition. <laughs> so honestly, this is very adventurous for me. I'm not the biggest salmon fan, nor am I the biggest hollandaise fan. And I decided to get this Lox Benedict. And I think we're all going to try it together. 
We are. We're gonna try to try. I think it's gonna be interesting and I, fun. I like locks and I love poached eggs. Oh, so you're gonna love this. And I love Benedict sauce. Well then yeah, yeah okay. Alright. Do the oozy part. First? Oh, you wanna do the oozy part? Okay. Let's go in. Promise is doing the honors of breaking us into this bed. There you go. Oh, That's yeah. Beautiful. Oh, Voila. Yeah. Voila. <laughs> Voila. I think I need the I need the fruit milkshake. I need the milkshake back. I need this. <laughs> I need it. Just need a chaser. I need this. All right, drink it. Wait, drink it and sink it. <laughs> there we go. Wait, it. we shouldn't do it over the fruit loop shake. What if some? Oh, look, that one went right in the fruit Hurry loop up. shake. Drink Cheers, it. guys. Cheers. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Really good. Isn't it great? It mixes good with no, no, it doesn't. The holiday no. sauce and the egg yolk, smoked and the salmon, salmon is shake. actually really good. I think Nate's really enjoying it too. Yeah, don't, don't drink it with the shake. Okay, so for someone that does like lox, what did you think? Did you like I it? I thought it was really good. It had a nice smoked uh, salmon flavor, smoke, smoky flavor from the salmon with the egg yolk, and that hollandaise sauce was really good as well. Hollandaise. You gotta be yoking me. You gotta be yoking. What is this a yoking? Like <laughs> All right, enough of the salmon business. I mean, I'm just not a big fan of salmon or hollandaise sauce, but everything else was pretty good. The Fruit Loop shake was good. I love the avocado toast, and the cinnamon rolls were probably my favorite, like the cinnamon roll with the candied bacon. Those are probably my favorite thing out of the whole brunch cot. Now it's time to move along, and we made our way over to the Farmer's Feast. And this is actually a special booth because the menu changes throughout the festival. Right now, it's on the early bloom menu, and they're serving up chilled potato and leek soup, the char-grilled bison ribeye, which I think last year, that was my favorite menu item. It was so good. And then they got the spice cake, and it all just looks amazing. The spice cake, the char-grilled bison, it, it's amazing. Oh, and they also had the hibiscus lemonade cocktail. And they're all cooking it right outside. Look, you can actually see the bison ribeye over there. That looks good. Holy moly. Literally, you can smell it. It's, it's so amazing. Wow. I wish you guys could just smell that steak on that grill. It's so cool because as you're walking around World Showcase, you're smelling all these incredible flowers, all this incredible food, and it really just sets the mood. And then once we actually, like, once we get into World Showcase, it's like 10 times better. We're just on the outskirts. We're just on the, we're trying to pick off all of the boots that are kind of just like around this little area here. And then we're going to head into the uh, World Showcase. Of course, I had to get the ribeye, and look at this. It looks phenomenal. Definitely a contender for probably my favorite thing in the festival, and I haven't even tried it this year yet, but I know, I know what's to come. I know what's to come, trust me. I also decided on getting the hibiscus lemonade, and look at how beautiful this drink actually is. It looks like a perfect flower and garden drink, and we're gonna give it a taste here. Holy, oh, 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 whoa. Whoa, that's a lot of liquor. Holy moly, that's a strong drink. <laughs> if you're looking to get a little tipsy, this is the drink for you. It's 11.50, but you're getting all that 11.50 worth of gin in there. And also, I didn't know if I pointed out the red wine butter on here. It's almost like purplish, uh, isn't cheese. it? Yeah, red wine goat cheese. Oh, it's actually. red wine goat cheese. Mm, yeah, so still a dairy. Wow, yeah. very interesting, very colorful. Yeah. All right, it's time for the ribeye business here. Look at this. You get three large pieces like this, and I am so excited. Oh, this is going to be so good. Here we go. Wow. So good. Holy moly. You can actually taste the char on the outside of the ribeye. And if you guys plan on visiting here, this is only going to be available till April. So you got to get it when you can because it is going to go away and I'm going to miss it so much. The bison ribeye is where it is at. That is so delicious. And I like the cocktail just a little bit too strong. I thought something like that would be very refreshing. And I am not a fan of that cold soup. I mean, I don't know. It comes off like a little bit strong and leeks are actually in season. And uh, I kind of just, I didn't like it. Maybe if it was a little hot. I like hot soup, good soup. I'm a big soup guy, you know? 
we're gonna actually move along and make our way into world showcase now but look how beautiful this is you can really smell the flowers right here where i'm standing i think we're gonna make our way over to the honey bistro and we're gonna go this way and then towards mexico because there's a lot of good stands over here and we usually get to them later on in the day i kind of want to start out with them make sure you guys check out all of my friends in today's video i'm gonna put a link for all of their channels in the description we've got promise hope we got right down main street alleywood studios lbv tv and i love hanging out with my friends it's always a good time and it's uh, great to share it with you guys as well tomorrow. i want to be a bee oh be a fancy bee. Yeah, thank you all the help you can get around the garden today it's true oh <laughs> I'm very Enjoy excited. Thank you, you too. Happy flower and garden. Like Look at that, I'm a bee. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> I love this so much. They're just handing out little bee hats. Kind of reminds me of like the Burger King hats. And it's so cool. Look at that. I'm sure they're not going to last long because they're paper and they're going to be all over the park eventually. But I'm going to wear mine as, as long as I can. As long as I can, I'm going to be nice. Now that we are officially a bee, it's time to make our way over to the Honey Bistro. And I always love coming here. This year they've got chicken and waffles, and then they've got a flatbread. This looks good, the flatbread looks really good, but I'm kind of interested in the chicken and waffles there. And then they also have a Honey Peach Cobbler Freeze, a New Wave Lemonade Mead, and then some other honey wines down there. But I think I'm just all in on a chicken and waffles. Also, I wanted to point out my fancy shirt here. If anybody can guess what this shirt actually is, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll give you a hint, it's a beverage. But look at how fancy it is. Very cool, it's a Roosevelt. And take a look at this. We've got the chicken and waffles, but this isn't any regular chicken and waffles. This is literally a cornbread waffle with like corn butter. This looks amazing like i'm not gonna lie i'm probably most excited to actually try this and i think there's like a honey drizzle on there too isn't there, there? Is. it's like a little butter and some honey. wow you know us we are some cornbread fiends yes and then what's the what's the flatbread here it's got like i don't know if you're gonna like it it's got some prosciutto some goat cheese some like blueberries some like sweet savory cheesy creamy action going um, on. i'll try it but i think i'm just excited for that chicken and waffle Let's see, right here. Cut onto that little waffle. Oh, that cornbread just falling apart, though. I know the cornbread waffle just kind of tumbled. Not, that not looks promising. Like my spoon bread. Not promising. Not <laughs> promising. <laughs> So far, I've talked to a couple of people who have not liked this. They said that it doesn't taste good, but it's literally everything I love right now. So it's going to be hard for me to not like it unless it's really that bad. But we're going to try it. Hmm, it's good. So sweet. Honestly, I really do like this. I just don't know like why people don't like it so much. I mean, it's good. I like the uh, waffle. The chicken's probably my least favorite thing, but I do like the cornbread waffle. That's like probably my favorite thing. I guess maybe people aren't happy with the chicken itself. I think the quality of the chicken was, is that what was it is? A little off. It was a little chewy. Yeah, I mean, I love the waffle though. Look at it, like you, you got chunks of corn in there. And if you get a nice spot with that uh, honey butter in there, that's how it's done. It, 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 it's honestly almost like a dessert, I feel like. Other than the cornbread waffle, the best thing to come out of the Honey Bistro are probably the ears. I like the ears a lot. Like, they're really fun, but I did like the cornbread waffle. The chicken just wasn't there for me. So my friends ended up getting some of the food from the refreshment port and then Canada. And what did you get here? What is this? So this was a shrimp scampi poutine. Shrimp scampi poutine. It's very garlicky. It tastes very way better than it looks. Yeah. It does not look good. I'm not going to lie. I will say it's it was good. lacking in the shrimp. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's a really garlicky poutine. It was really good. Nice. And then you got that? Got the scallops. It's got like a mustardy sauce on the bottom of it. It was pretty good. Like a 5 out of 10. Oh, so. okay. 5 out of 10. <laughs> but this gluten-free beer, 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes, you're, well, you're gluten-free and they have that yes, in Canada, it's right? it's Glutenberg beer. It's made in Canada, so they have it over there. And it's a blonde ale. And you couldn't even tell that it's not. It has no gluten. So Fancy. Good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 
now I think it's time to move along and we made our way to the pineapple promenade and they actually have a pineapple beer flight and I always like to get it it's so delicious they also have the spicy hot dog and then your traditional dole whip but I'm really all about the pineapple beer flight even though I might want to try the violet lemonade that actually sounds good that's a non-alcoholic beverage maybe we'll get them both I need something refreshing and then something boozy something really cool to point out all of the edible flowers are harvested from the land greenhouses from the ride itself so as we eat the flowers we're actually going to be eating from the land oh right here oh and that's one of the edible flowers look at that i wanted to get this just as like a little refreshing uh beverage and i'm gonna eat that flower i'm gonna eat that land flower Cheers to the Violet Lemonade. I know sometimes it's hard for me to say Violet, and I always say Violent, Violet Lemonade, but this is gonna be so good. Oh yeah, very refreshing. A little tart, not too bad though. I'm gonna sip up that flower though. Mm. I don't know if I like the flower, but I do like the lemonade. I know, I just asked if he's gonna be there. Now let's get to the pineapple beer flight. They have the Three Daughters Tropical Heffa, then they've got the Brew Dog Hazy Jane IPA, and then the Urban Artifact Teak Tropical American Fruit Tart. That's a big name. That's a big word for Elmo. And I think we're gonna just dive in and just sample of them. I'm pretty sure this is the Heffa right here, and this is the tart. So we're gonna start on this side and then make our way across and see which one we like more. Here we go, Heffa. Ooh, I actually like that one a lot. And now the IPA, I believe. A little hazy IPA. Ah, it's okay. I'm not a big IPA fan, you know? But I definitely am not a big tart fan, so I'm not gonna like this oh, at I all. Oh, you can keep that. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'll too tart, too tart. No, no, I'll drink the IPA. Are you sure you don't like IPAs either? I'm pretty sure. Okay. No, I like, oh, you want the IPA? Oh, yeah, you can have the IPA. Here you go. <laughs> All right, enough of the pineapple business. It's time to move along, and we made our way over to the Florida Fresh Stand. They've got the grilled street corn on the cob. They have one that's plant-based and one that comes with spicy corn chips. And then they have blackened fish sliders, and then a watermelon salad, and probably the thing I've been most excited for, the Florida strawberry shortcake. It looks so good when I saw the preview menu, so I think I'm going to get that and maybe a cucumber and a watermelon slushy looks all good looks florida fresh <laughs> chris looks florida fresh too I'm florida fresh. <laughs> you are florida fresh you look florida fresh <laughs> this stand might be my favorite stand it's got lemons and oranges hanging up there big lemon guy a big lemon guy i am a big lemon guy like oh and look it there's that strawberry shortcake thank you this is what i was looking oh, for oh and it's a biscuit too isn't it Whoa. It's a biscuit? Yeah. Chris, we bought the wrong thing. I've been to the strawberry, I've been to the shortcake, like uh, the strawberry festival. Yeah, and you will learn that there are different strawberry shortcakes. But that fish slider looks good. It looked, it rolled a little bit. It rolled back. It rolled back. <laughs> All right, it's time to dive on in. Here is the watermelon cucumber slushy, which they said the machine wasn't like making it slush, so it's still kind of liquidy. I'm fine with that. I just want something nice and refreshing. And then the Florida strawberry shortcake. Like I said, there's like a biscuit to it, and I like it. I'm kind of make. I'm gonna eat this like a sandwich. I feel like I think that's the way to do it. It's probably gonna cause a mess, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put my top on. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the top on. Here we go. Oh, this looks so good. I, maybe I don't need the top though, but I already have the whipped cream. Maybe I'm just gonna eat it this way. Just the bottom of the biscuit. There we go, here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm going in for another bite. That's the way. So much whipped cream and fresh strawberries. The biscuit is amazing. This is so good. I'll make sure to recap with you guys what my favorite things of the festival were, but this is gonna be up there for, it's gonna be up there with me. 
Now we gotta try the little watermelon cucumber. Oh, that is so good too, very refreshing. Florida Fresh is knocking it out of the park here. Wow. A little watermelon, a little cucumber, and a little shortcake. That's the way. The only thing I can say I'm not like the biggest fan of when it comes to this shortcake is the biscuit to whipped cream strawberry ratio. I feel like I can just eat the bottom half and that's plenty enough. Now I got this whole top half biscuit here that uh, I got no strawberries or whipped cream to go with. But other than that, it is phenomenal. It tastes so good and it's definitely going to be one of my favorite things so far this year. It's time to keep moving along, and I can't believe my hat has made it this long. My bee, my bee ears, my bee, my bee ears have made it this long, and we're gonna head on in over to the Odyssey now. The Odyssey is also where they're selling the souvenir Orange Bird Sipper Cup, which I think a lot of people are trying to get. I might fancy one. Looks really cool. All right, here it is. I got the orange sesame tempura shrimp with orange chili sauce, which that looks so good. They actually give you a good amount of shrimp in there. And then I got the lemon meringue pie, the lemon curd, lemon mousse, and toasted meringue. And then over here, we got the orange sunshine slushy. It's like a orange wine slushy. And then of course I couldn't leave without getting the orange bird sipper. And I love this because it's an orange bird holding an orange and it says Walt Disney World. Probably one of the coolest little sippers I think I've seen. And they actually usually put this in there but I asked for it on the side because I don't want to get it all gunked up, you know? All right, here we go. Let's dive in to the orange tempura shrimp first. And they look like they're just a lot of breading. I hope it's not overly breaded but we'll find out. Oh, that's good though. It is a lot of breading but I like it a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is very good though. I like it a lot. The more and more I bite on this, the more I really do enjoy it. I like that orange sesame and the orange chili sauce. It's actually really good. It, it's something that once you eat maybe one or two, it's gonna get better. And I can't wait to dry, dive into the meringue. This looks fantastic. Oh no, shrimp down. Shrimp down, at least it was just a shrimp tail. Of course, I was not prepared for this, and I don't have a fork or knife right now, and I don't want to lose my table. It's very sacred spots the tables are. You know what I mean? It's either tables or trash cans, and I got a table, so I got lucky. So I'm just gonna pick this little meringue up, just like a little pie, hold it so dearly, and we're gonna take a bite. Ooh. That's good. Holy moly. I like this a lot, it's so soft. The tart is literally almost crumbling in my hands. This is amazing. Much too good. Both of these are really solid choices. Now they did have a citrus baked debris, but I didn't get it. I did get this wine slushy, so we're gonna have to try that, but it is melting, so I probably should have drank that first. A little wine slush if I don't mind. Oh man, citrus blossom is just very citrusy and I like it. I like it a lot. And I've still got the bee ears. I still got my bee antennas. I don't want to keep on calling them ears or antennas, but I like this orange slushy too. Also inside citrus blossom, they have some of the festival merchandise. Lots of orange. The ears actually look really, really nice. I like those. Oh, the spirit jersey is actually a winner for me this year. I have not been impressed with the spirit jerseys over the year, years, but this one I kind of like. Look at that, spread the sunshine. And then they got a nice little hat over here. I wish it was a flat brim, I probably would get it. Spread in the sunshine. I got a tank top there, some tumblers, a little magic band. Lots of cool items. I think they did really good with the merchandise this year. All right, it's time to move along from the citrus blossom and uh, make our way into World Showcase. You know, I noticed there were so many other booths that are just on the outskirts. Like, we really haven't really gotten into it. So, I mean, now's the time, and we've been here for a while. 
we're gonna try to do a full lap but I'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to get everything done today we might have to come back for a part two there is a lot of food boots it's hard to actually hit each one of them but I do want to get all the new stuff so we're gonna keep walking until we find a stand where I'm like ooh, I like that that's the one it is super hot out today. I definitely feel like we are in the summer season for Florida already, and uh, I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it at all. In fact, I'm actually gonna be doing a little vacation. I'm doing a little trip coming up actually tomorrow, and I'm going somewhere very awesome, and it's definitely a little bit colder there, and I'll talk about it later on in the video. Maybe I'll let you guys know, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited to kinda get a break from the heat, but then come back to the heat, you know? As we're moving along, I wanted to stop and show you guys the Seven Dwarves topiaries. And then, of course, you got Snow White and Dopey over here. These are so beautiful. They put in so much work. I love it. Looks lifelike. And look at Dopey right now. He just looks dopey. I think our next stop is actually going to be to America. I hear they have some new topiaries over there and a pretty amazing menu, including a Banana Foster's bread pudding, which, if you guys know, I love bread pudding. And here we go. We have made it to Magnolia Terrace. And look at Princess Tiana. She's got her own topiary here. It looks like she's in the bayou. And I think I'm going to go grab something to eat. Looks like the line isn't too bad, huh? The line in America is usually long. I can't What'd you get there? Some gumbo? Pudding. Oh boy, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> All right, here is my haul from Magnolia Terrace. I like how we're calling it my haul. This is my haul from Magnolia Terrace. I got the beer flight. It's got pretty things ale and that wicked weed. And then also a ghost in the machine double IPA. And then I got the spicy chicken gumbo. And I hear it's pretty spicy. And I'm hoping that it's not pretty spicy, but you know, I still love gumbo. And then of course, the Banana Foster's bread pudding. Look at this. It just looks so good, the little delicacies. So we're gonna dive in, maybe the gumbo first and then the beer in case it's too spicy. I feel like that's a good plan. All right, I'm diving into the gumbo first. Hopefully it's not too spicy. I got a nice little chunk of chicken on there, some rice. Here we go. Oh, that's really good gumbo, though. I like it. Um, it's not as good as like Port Orleans gumbo or Disneyland. It's not, I mean, it's pretty good, though, but I'm not a big fan of the rice. And I don't feel a lot of spice. I mean, I feel a little bit of spice, but not a lot of spice. I think I'm going to try the pretty little things. <laughs> Is that what it, oh, pretty things, Al. Pretty little thing, lemon life, you can't have calls the mama I'm sure on. I think that's the song. Anywho, cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Little double IPA now. Double IPA is pretty good. And now, yeah, I think this one is the uh, Wicked Weed. The American Light Ale. <laughs> the American Light Ale is very good. Wow. Honestly, the Pretty Things Ale is good, but I really did like that American Light Ale the most. Double IPA, I can probably go without. And I'm still not feeling any heat from here, guys. Maybe you just have a spice tolerance now. There's no such thing! I, I don't have a spice so, tolerance! You know, it was like an after kick, so I was enjoying it, I'm loving it, and then all of a sudden, I start like, uh, in the vlog. I'm like, oh my god, oh what? My god, I turn it off. Yeah, you didn't... Nothing? I think you... This is me. I'm growing up a... You're growing up. up I'm growing up. I'm a real boy. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up these beers actually. The pretty little things. It's pretty things, Dale, but I'm gonna call it pretty little things. This is so good. All right, here we go. Enough of the gumbo business. It's time to try the bread pudding business. And I love bread pudding and I love bananas. There's just a lot of caramel sauce on there, but I'm diving in. Here we go, Banana Fosters. Sound check. Oh, I love this. I'll eat this all day. I love banana. I love bread pudding. Much too good. It's the perfect bread pudding texture. 
with a little bit of banana to it. I'm all on board. America was great. Oh, I gotta finish up my double IPA though. You like some double IPA? Double IPA. Double. <laughs> all right, enough of the gumbo business. I really do love the uh, Banana Foster's bread pudding. I think that was my favorite thing out of all of the American like items. The gumbo was okay, but it wasn't that spicy and I, I, I just wasn't very flavorful. But I did love, like I said, the banana pudding. So that was good enough. So we're gonna move along. Head on uh, over to Japan, and get some fushi. Here is a look at the menu. They've got the frushi, which absolutely everyone loves. It's like a fruit sushi, strawberry, pineapple, lychee, and sweet rice with a pink soy wrap. And then they've got another sushi there that comes with some mackerel. And then down here, they've got a fruit sake cocktail and a cherry blossom pilsner. And they actually have cherry blossoms on the side of the stand here. So I think I'm gonna get the cherry blossom pilsner. Alright, it is time for the Frushi and the Cherry Blossom Pilsner, but also in Japan, they have a really cool, like, garden area that I cannot wait to show you, but I'll show you that after we actually eat first. I ran into my friend Beth, Villains and Vice, and we've got some Frushi. My very first. First timer here. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. You can't go wrong with Frushi. And look at how your drink matches your dress. Everything looks good. You look even the frushi matches your dress. That's the picture. Yep. I am so excited. But we're gonna try it. Everyone's got frushi. Ali had frushi. Ali had. Ali had frushi too. Look. That's the way. There we go. Grabbing the frushi. Grabbing some of the whipped cream. Dragging along. Getting that strawberry sauce. This is how you do it. So do I treat the sauce like soy sauce and oh, yeah. cream like wasabi? You gotta drag it on there. Okay, right. Cheers to Frushi. Mm. First off, what do you think? It's good, it's good. No, no pressure. Look at you guys set up the look at you guys setting this up over there. Very important moment. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 If you don't like it, then I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree with Kristen. I think I need more strawberry yeah. sauce. Yeah. But I am happy that they do give you four and not three anymore. I Definitely add a benefit. You want more berries and cream. Berries and cream. <laughs> berries and cream. Berries and yep. Cream. <laughs> Before we were actually eating the frushi, I was talking about how in Japan they have a really cool garden. It's like a water garden, and it's right where we're eating. So I want to show you real quick. I'm, I kind of love it. Look at this. The water collects, and then it bangs into the uh, bamboo. Watch. See, this was gonna tilt over. This is really cool. I love this so much and they have a bunch of them. They have one over there too, one over there. We have definitely eaten a lot of food today and the frushi was always a go-to. I mean, I'm trying, like I said, some new items, some things that are returning classics. Got to check out some topiaries and now I think we're gonna keep moving along. This is definitely gonna be a part one of part two. I know I'm gonna have to come back to Flower and Garden. I don't have much time today. Usually I can get a lot done in one day, but it being too hot out today right now and the sun's really kicking into me, I'm not too sure how much more we're gonna actually get done today we decided to keep moving along and I wanted to stop and show you guys the Muppets topiaries you got Miss Piggy and Kermit here look at Miss Piggy she's looking extra this year something a little bit different I can't figure out what it is but she does look good and Kermit's always looking like he has a good time that's a big Kermit though holy moly he's blending in but I do oh there's a lizard on his chest look at there's a lizard on Kermit's chest right now do you see that that's kind of cool. I don't know why I'm so kind of 
infatuated with that. Oh, there he goes. It's on his leg. It's running down his leg. Come on. Can you imagine a lizard running down your leg right now? Right next to the Muppets Topiaries, they have Isla Fresca, and they actually have a braised oxtail and sugarcane shrimp skewers, and those both sound amazing. So I think we're actually gonna grab some of that, and maybe also the coconut tres leches. I remember one time I was reading tres leches out loud, like I, I was videoing it, and I said, coconut tree leeches, and it was the most funniest thing. And I couldn't go back and like take it back, so I just left it in there, and it was so hysterical. This is also the Encanto booth during some festivals and it's always so pretty over here. Look, we've got a little fountain here with a pineapple. Why do pineapples always look good on fountains? I see pineapples on fountains everywhere. I ended up getting the oxtail and the cane sugar shrimp, which looks amazing. And then I got a Key Lime or Key West beer. And then Beth, what did you get? You got the uh, coconut, what is it called? The coconut- Tres uh, leches. Tres leches. So and it's oat milk, almond milk, and coconut milk. So ah. Plant-based, that's kind of fun. And the tropical breeze with rum. Don Q, eh? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Limon rum, and there's a little lemon rind in there. It's very good. Oh, and then Kristen went over to France. France! And France! France! <laughs> <laughs> what did you end up getting? I got the creme brulee beignet. This, uh, this was like my favorite thing the past like two years. I creme brulee it. so beignet. Much creme brulee inside, and then it's topped with the sugar and brulee on top. So good. And then we got the goat cheese croissant here. Nate, you want some? Nope. I love goat cheese. Nate doesn't like cheese. He's a weirdo. And you're gonna spill that. No, uh -huh. no, you need to get the sipping, girl. There it is. And the rose slush. Delicious. That's the way. I'm gonna try the key lime beer here. Oh, that is so good. That might be my favorite beer of the festival right here. Yeah, tastes like a coconut key lime pie. So good. Not like creamy or anything like that. Just very nice, very subtle. Oh yeah. I know, I'm going in on the shrimp. Look at all those shrimps in there. They've been doing a good job. Look at that. The backside of shrimp. That's a lot of scrams. Oh, That's a lot of scrams. So you Yeah, on a cane sugar, like so, like it's a skewer of sugar. So you should eat that. I'm gonna eat that, right? You can eat it. Chew on it. You know, I would it. not. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. <gasps> Wait, no! <laughs> what just happened? Oh my lord! <laughs> the Lacroix is has been Lacroix. I've tainted the Lacroix. <laughs> That did not go as planned. When I picked up the shrimp skewer, all of the chutney basically just fell on my shirt and uh, it was a little embarrassing. But I think I'm all better now. You can't even tell, look at that. It kind of just blends in with the shirt. All right, enough of the shrimp in business. I'm diving into the oxtail. You guys do know I love oxtail. I like to get it at uh, uh, Gico. Boma. Uh, yeah, Boma, thank you. Look at that, good, good. Are they playing in Contos here? Yeah. Wow. With the little it's piggy? Called, I, I just realized that, yeah, this is the Encanto booth for Festival of the Arts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm dying for you to break it. Here we go, oxtail. Oh, that is amazing. That's wow. That's really good. That might be a contender for my favorite thing here. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, why is it so flavorful? Like, it's got strong flavor. Yeah. Holy moly. That's really good. Kristen, what did you think of your food? Was it good? I didn't even eat, oh, the beignet is phenomenal. But okay, so the thing with this beignet is you got to get it at a good time. Wow. Oh yeah. Because you need enough filling in there. Sometimes they just put like the tiniest bit of the creme brulee filling inside, and it's not as good, and you only get it in like one bite. But this one is good. It's is all it in there. Filling? Look at all that filling. And another thing, the top has to be crispy. Sometimes they don't brulee it enough and it's not crispy enough. But this is perfect. They brulee the top. Perfect. Yep. Brulee the top. This is definitely going to be my favorite booth. 100%. I don't even know, what's it called? La Fresca? La Isla Fresca. La Isla Fresca is going to go down as my favorite booth. Between the shrimp and then the oxtail and the beer. I love it. Oh, I should try I that. Should try the dessert. Yeah. Save the uh, dessert for me. Thank you. And now for the dessert to see if it's even more stabilized as my favorite. Mm. 
I can go without the dessert. <laughs> it's plant-based, so I'll give you that. It's just the cake doesn't taste that great. It's probably because it's plant-based. Like I said, it's, it's yeah. it had more flavor. Yeah. It's, it's kind of coconutty, and it's sweet, and it's almost like sweet as the flavor. Yeah, we need more coconut. We need more coconut. Wow, we made a full lap, Kristen. Before it's completely dark. Yeah, this is impressive. Now, we did skip over, you know, Mexico, China, Germany, and Italy. But they have they had all the same stuff that they have every year. Yeah, but I still want to come back and try some of their items. But we did everything else. We got to show basically all of the food. Hi, guys. And now it's time to wrap it up. Head on out. <laughs> all right, I'm taking my orange bird, and we are making our way out. Got to get home. Going to edit this video. And... Uh, Get all packed up. I'm packing up a suitcase, going somewhere fun. Look how sunburned I am today. I was not ready for the Florida sun. I just got back from Oregon where everything was cold. And today, even Florida's been cold the past couple of days. Today, everyone was just talking about how hot it was and how much the sun has been out. But I'm feeling it, I'm gonna take these off. Oh Lordy, oh Lordy. <laughs> I can see what's happening and they don't have a clue who they'll fall in love and here's the bottom line our trio's down to two oh and just like that we are done here today i had so much fun at the flower and garden festival even though it was a little hot and i got a lot or a little too much sun i still enjoyed my time hanging out with friends trying some drinks and food items and just really taking in all of the festival bringings or everything the festival has to offer. Uh, a couple of my favorite things, I will have to say, I really love the bison ribeye. Of course, I'm sure you guys knew that was coming. And then also the oxtail, the banana fosters bread pudding, and uh, the strawberry shortcake. Those were like my go-to. And now I'm back home and I get to see Gracie Girl. And I'm gonna be going back to uh, Flower and Garden Festival. I'm sorry this video isn't usually as good as the other videos I make on the festivals. But like I said, I, I had a very short window because I need to pack tonight. I'm actually leaving tonight to head back to the west coast to actually have some more fun over there and i'm sure you guys have an idea where i might be going because it's time to celebrate disney 100 so i am very excited gracie is hanging out over here and i'm gonna pack up my bags edit this video hop on a plane and make my way on the other side to the other coast so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. In case anybody was wondering, here is the prettiest princess in the world. Look at that tail. What are you doing, babe? What are you doing, baby girl? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hoo poo poo poo. Love you. Love you. Look at her little fancy paws hanging over the bed there. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Huh? Let's go for a walk!